Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. So this video today, as most likely the title will be suggesting, is to fit cruise control on this 2014 Renault traffic. So it being a 2013 and 14 is the traffic 3. Uh, the engine on this I believe is the 1.6 DCI um, and the van obviously came without cruise control um, for reasons that doesn't really matter uh, the owner didn't have the chance to look for the correct van with all the options he wanted uh, but this is the van that I used for deliveries and he, he much values the cruise control so about two weeks ago he rang me asked me over the phone i said look there is aftermarket kits uh they are now very uh they are now very cheap and um, i don't even know if there is a kit for this one um a quick research revealed that there is indeed for uh, traffic two uh, i don't know if it would fit on the traffic three uh, i haven't researched enough uh because um i suggested why not fit the original cruise control on the car on the van the car the van um, then um, I've asked him to, he asked if that was possible and I asked him to bring me the van so he dropped me the van here about two weeks ago uh, just for me to have a look he only dropped the van for about two hours or so and what I've done is right here where this blank is is where the cruise control switch should be so what I've done is I've lift this cover here and I've looked behind this plug, or this blank, sorry. And there is a plug behind it. So it looked like the van is pre-wired for the cruise control. So I told him it's really good news uh, because the van, it looks like it's pre-wired. So if there is a plug there for the switch, most likely the rest of the wiring will be here. Although on top of this, the only thing I believe the van needs is obviously the wiring through the clock spring and the clutch switch. I haven't checked the, cl the clutch switch at the time, uh, but I then rang him and asked him uh, to see if there was a clutch switch, because otherwise I would have to order that in advance. He told me over the phone there is. I haven't looked yet, so let's kind of look to see if there is a clutch switch. Uh, let me see in there if there is one uh, yes there is so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see there is that blue one so that's the clutch switch so there is a clutch switch indeed and uh, and then I bought the parts so I first was looking for the cruise control switch for the steering wheel but this steering wheel this is not is, is part of the steering wheel some of these steering wheels they come with a cover here with a blank but this one is actually part of it so because initially I thought I'll just take these covers off and I'll put the, the buttons but because this is part of the steering wheel I would might have to cut these I don't know how I would fit so I bought a steering wheel now this steering wheel is actually from a, a Vivaro or Vivaro, whatever you pronounce it. Uh, same stuff, same thing as you can see. It's exactly the same steering, with the exception that there is cruise control buttons. Okay, and I bought a switch. Okay, uh, I do hope the the I can fit a limiter and cruise control. Uh, I think I can fit both here, so let's see how it goes. But um, but yeah, so my next step, guys, is going to be, or the plan is going to be, remove the airbag, remove the steering wheel. As soon as I take the airbag, I will see if there is connections for the cruise control buttons. Um, so remove this, uh, swap the steering wheel, fit the button in there, and then code the van. Uh, I will start by trying the Maxi Sys, see if that can do the coding on this, activate the cruise control. If not, obviously we'll have to get hold of clip, but one step at a time. So that's gonna do it. Let's gonna start to put the parts back in place. Uh, back in place. That's gonna start to put to fit these bits. And um, and yeah, that's gonna see if it works. Fingers crossed it works. 
would be really nice if it does. And uh, this is only clips, so all you have to do is really pull it out, and here he is. My plug on a blank on a blank plate, whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to pull this out and put the switch. Okay, and the airbag is out. To remove the airbag is really easy, as you can see from this or from this wheel. You just put there's two holes here on the side, so right there. And there's another one on the other side, so you push this with a screwdriver. You push, you push this spring inwards, and this will pop out. Then you do the same on the other side, and the airbag pops out, and that's it. And I can see here that my connection is here. Look at that. The plug for my cruise control. So lovely. That's it. That's really good. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit sceptic about the button, so the button is in place, but I'm a little bit sceptic about it because the connections are different. There is wires on the plug of the van that has no pins on the button and vice versa, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. The guy, and this is a funny thing, I, I rang a Reno. This was obviously two weeks ago as well, a funny thing, because I've seen many different part numbers of this button. So I gave a number plate to the guy from a van that I found on eBay of the same year, but with cruise control. Uh, and I've asked him, I asked him for the part number for the button and he gave me this part number. OK, so he gave me this part number. So I hope because I've seen so many different part numbers, I was not sure. This is a 02, hang on a second, 2500, let me see if I see the number here. The part number somewhere. I might be on the side now. But, right hand dry, okay, let, let, let me see if I find the part number for you guys. Okay, so I took it off again and my part number is right here. So two triple five double zero double zero two R. So that was the part number the guy gave me. Uh, interestingly enough, we have these little two uh, things here that's supposed to go in this area here. But if I do it like this, the button will be look at that upside down. So I don't know if this button was actually for this one. Uh, phew. The guy told me it was at the Reno, so but well, I have a feeling that the button might not gonna work. So we're gonna have to hold fire for now. And uh, oh come on, you were just there a minute ago, and see how it goes. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, but for now, let's gonna fit the new steering wheel and go from there old steering wheel steering wheel out new steering wheel goes in and there we go as you can see all put in place so it plugs in there the cruise controls there's only two wires so I'm not really sure how this works if it's a lean bus uh, or or if it's just a resistance so it will be voltage coming through on wire and then as you press each of these buttons will send back different resistance different voltage um, but I I'm not really sure to be honest with you not really sure how it works but yeah but that's that's doesn't really matter uh, so let's gonna put the airbag back on um, or actually shall we try to code before now nah, there's really no point let's gonna put everything back on the bolt and the airbag and then let's gonna see what happens okay all in place look at that so beautiful fitted really well uh, the button obviously I took it off uh, but uh, obviously pressing this button doesn't make nothing the cruise control light is somewhere over there but obviously until we code I don't think this would work anyway Okay, so um, I've been here already, but I'm going to show you. Uh, great stuff is detecting the buttons on the steering wheel, and they are working. So, 
uh, if I go to read configuration so cruise control speed limiter buttons uh, detected so this is the buttons on my steering wheel cruise control function or speed limiter function not detected so obviously that's not detected uh, it's not coded I, I don't know if it's just because the button is the like I said there's something weird in there without that plug but let, let's gonna go one bit at a time now if I go to live data and I come here to parameters I've been here already so uh, what am I so there is so start on the first one cruise control setting uh, duration of resume button uh, which is the R button then we have the plus and the minus and duration of suspend which is gonna be my zero and look what happened uh, I don't know I'm gonna show you both at the same time it'll be a little bit tricky but I wanted to look at the for example resume button it says 4s 4 seconds look what happens when I press the button I'm gonna press the button now pressed look at that I should ah, there we go you see that changing that's for how long I'm pressing the button now I'm gonna press so the one below is the plus so I'm gonna press the plus A little bit slow the live data earlier it was a little bit quicker but look at that now I'm gonna stop press the minus so I'm gonna press the minus there we go and now I'm gonna press the suspend which is gonna be the zero on the other side and there we go so he is detecting my buttons uh, which is spot on very good and fortunately uh, so far on engine this is on the engine um, module by the way there's nothing here so it's configuration but there's nothing here for me to change that uh, so the speed limiter this is the speed limiter of the van so it's nothing to do with the cruise control okay it's gonna so it's inactive anyway so it's gonna come back here it's gonna escape uh, and then everything here there's nothing to do with the cruise control so I'm gonna come out of here I'm gonna see if there's any other module that can have that done I don't know maybe the uh, UCH maybe if you do it there then it tells the, the module I don't know yet so I'm gonna investigate a little bit before I actually go forward and do something but so far looks like the maxi C's cannot actually and the special functions as you're gonna see as well that's why it does okay it's for coding and stuff uh, function tests uh, it's just functions as you can see let's say cruise control and speed limiter oh there was actually a thing here for it but as you can see I don't think there is uh, I don't think there is I'm not sure what this uh, is that for the button RVLV hmm that's weird oh that's for the resume button so when I press the button here look when I press the button the R you're gonna see that voltage change look so that's that's how it works the way I said so one of those wires there's only two wires for these buttons one of those wires sends five volts through and then as you and then every one of these buttons there is a resistor on it so when you press it changes the voltage and that's how the ECU knows which button you are pressing because it's gonna look for a certain voltage uh, through a certain button so uh, that's no buttons pressed four volts when I press resume it's gonna go to three volts now when I press uh, the zero, it's gonna it's gonna go to another voltage. I don't know which one. Let's gonna see. Thirty four volts. That's pretty sure something else. It's probably three point four. The plus sends us to two volts, and the minus sends us to one volt. 
so that's how the car knows which button you are pressing quite simple system um, quite simple system really but there is nothing here uh, for me to actually uh, be able to code the now there's not it's not going to be so read configuration I can't really change it as, as we showed you already so there's nothing here for it and read configuration it does not allow me to then change it it's just live data really so let's see UCH let's see if there's anything I said I would be checking it first okay read configuration let's see hmm there's nothing here so far it's not gonna be here right configuration let me see as a light so it's, it's only those that are under there so it's not gonna be here configuration nope and that's it really function test is not gonna be nothing here as well no so the the cruise control is only handled by the engine ECU so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be nothing here adaptation unit what is this uh, it's not fitted anyway okay uh, UPC perhaps let's kind of have a look uh, read configuration but there's no right configuration here anyway but there's nothing here for it as well okay so this it looks like it's gonna have to be a maxi sys um, uh, right fin okay it looks like it's gonna have to be a you um, a clip work so let's gonna get old off clip and try to get this to work because there's nothing here as well there's nothing here on not under hot functions there's nothing here for it so let's gonna do it then let's gonna get the clip and try to get this uh, programmed hey guys and I have some really really excellent news uh, the first thing I want to say is that I was mistaken I've done a big big mistake so the way I thought the cruise control button would go here was because I was looking online for some Renault traffic manuals and photos and I've seen the cruise control over here but apparently some models this here is for the parking brake sorry 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 for the uh, park distance sensors so the cruise control is over here so I just got really scared when I realized that uh, anyway I pulled it and was a plug at the back as well as you're gonna be able to see in there oh maybe not anyway there's that the, 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 there is a plug is connected in there as you can probably see okay and I came for the drive and everything the cruise control was working beautifully I was looking on my live data um, and it was working beautifully however on the screen was nothing showing that the, the cruise control was active or inactive so I've stopped now to enable that function in the instrument cluster now clip is absolutely um, a waste of time on this he can't do nothing so I'm using Reno link and what I wanted to show there's a little bit of clear but I'm gonna stop uh, actually I'm gonna go here first to ECU gonna press connection and we're gonna go down here uh, to cruise so as you can see in there cruise so uh, RV and LV so if you go there you're gonna see that is all with this was saying uh, without all the way long S uh, cruise control and speed limit off at the moment I'm gonna switch the button to let me see which one I'm gonna switch uh, to that and you're gonna see speed limit is awaiting or suspended because I've just turned the button on and when I go to cruise control as you're gonna see it goes to cruise control on awaiting or suspended okay so that will stay 255 until I press a button on the steering wheel while I'm driving obviously that will set the speed it will just work as normal okay so as you can see in there as well cruise control button on off state 
is on the limiter is off if I switch it around or if I put in the center position will go to both off if I go to the other one the other one turns on okay so this is all working to do that with Reno link you just came down here to where am I where am I where am I oh here to the third one down okay and as you can see uh, authorization so I have already authorized um, the, 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 the function to be enabled okay and uh, let me go there again uh, okay and now so this is all done here on the engine ECU and what I've done now because I came all the way without the light on the dash I came here I've looked for the instrument cluster sorry the diagnostic is running so I need to stop this connection first select the dash and now select connect and under the dash let me that look for what I want I'm gone because I might need yeah now that's okay select connection are you gonna focus or what sorry about that guys okay and then the connection if you go to configurations as you're gonna see in there uh, blah 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 why it says without again oh no sorry that's the the so that's to write that's the settings on the ECU so as you can see that was saying without or not activated something like that so this is what you can choose so all you need to do really is change that to whatever you want ACC is for active cruise control so you can select this so I've select that one press that button here at the front came all the way down and you press that button there to write the configurations and as you can see now he reads uh, that with cruise control and speed limit and I'm gonna show you now as well I have my lights look there okay speed limit and it comes up in the middle as well cruise control it goes to green look at that lovely it seems like working is working just fine I'm gonna stop the communications and I'm gonna drive back unfortunately I can't record this because it was a was a speed camera van uh, right at the back there uh, as I was driving through and um, I hope they don't have cameras at the front because I was about 42 43 miles on a 40 uh, road on a 40 mile speed limit road but I've slowed down before I actually go to the back of the uh, before I passed the van so hopefully the camera was just at the back I don't think two miles an hour would be much of a, of a thingy but you never know so uh, what I'm gonna do is hold on a second see if I can put the camera somehow so you know you can't see a lot other than the road but uh, but uh, hold on a second so my connection is diagnostic is not running okay so he's off so I'm just gonna turn the van off, make sure everything is good. Let me lock the van. So it goes completely off. Okay, it should be alright. That's gonna start it. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, I hope the camera doesn't move too much. go so I'm gonna turn cruise control so he's on now I don't know you, know you can't really see other than the road can you guys okay so let's go it's gonna enable it there we go 36 miles per hour he came up on the screen straight away underneath where those dashes were uh, showing so as soon as I pressed the, the left hand side plus button where it shows the, 
that little cruise control symbol. Uh, it came on on the dash, another light underneath saying that it's activated. And I have my foot off the, the, my uh, feet off the pedals and I'm going at 36 miles per hour. I'm going to put it up, increase a little bit, so 37, 38, 39, 40. So, oh, it's working lovely. Lovely. So let's gonna now change this to uh, zero. Goes off. Speed limit. Let's gonna activate it. So 35 miles per hour. So I'm now on 32, 31. So press the pedal all the way down. 35 miles per hour, and that's it. There we go. So this beep is the 30 miles, the 35 miles per hour saying so they are flashing it allows me to actually go over which is a little bit weird so the speed limit 35 underneath starts to flash uh, and the van kind of lose power but if i keep my foot down a few seconds later it allows me to uh, go over the 35 so you guys with a van like this with the these functions probably can confirm what i'm saying so let's gonna go back to cruise control the fan is just parked down there so 39 miles per hour and off I go that's gonna go to 40 because this is a 40 mile per hour road and I'm really happy it's, it's, it's a shame that clip can't really do it so when you go to can clip to actually activate the functions the button to write the configurations is disabled is, is grayed out you can't really press that button uh, it detects that the buttons on the steering wheel are here because obviously it gets a voltage reference back to the ECU so it detects the buttons but then it doesn't do nothing with the rest of the information uh, and it does not allow you to actually change nothing there so yeah it's a little bit weird But uh, it's a shame that uh, clip. Well, say that said, guys, uh, the clip version I'm using is the version 161, uh, 161, which I believe is a, is a quite old version anyway. So maybe, who knows, newer versions would allow me to do it. Uh, maybe, I don't know, guys. I just know it's working perfect and I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy. Uh, when I pass the van, guys, I'm gonna grab the phone and I'm gonna show you what exactly is coming up on a dash um, maybe the van is gone already it was here somewhere oh it's gone or they just moved to another place because I think they were right here Yeah, definitely they were right here just on the left on this yeah they were just here on the left they gone but I don't want to meet them later on so but guys it's working perfect it's working perfect so if I press my brake pedal yeah it says memorized 40 miles per hour so if I press resume most likely it's just gonna resume to my memorized speed and sorry I was not expecting this. Oh gosh. Are you guys still okay? <laughs> I might cut this part, maybe not. It's gonna be funny. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, okay, so uh, what I want to show you is in there. So it says in there, memorized. It's just because I took the seat belt. But memorized 40 miles per hour, as you can see. Uh, when I actually run, when I'm actually driving, and he actually uh, is using the cruise control, there's another symbol underneath there that you might be able to see that becomes green as well. Um, I think that's it, guys, really. I'm going to terminate the video here. Um, but it's working perfect so my first correction as I said wrong place for the cruise control cruise control is going to go over here now over there and um, and I think that's it really uh, so that this is how you 
can um, you can retrofit cruise control on uh, on one of these traffics or I'm gonna assume that Vivaro is gonna be the same thing uh, very similar and uh, and that's it the guy also asked me to retrofit or to fit parking sensors or the camera I've seen that for the parking sensors maybe that actually is all wired for the parking sensors as well who knows um, but um, but I think the guy is more keen to have the camera at the back but that's it guys I really really hope uh, that um, you have enjoyed the video um, I would love to show you this uh, the cruise control working but guys is I don't think I need to, to show you that um, I mean I won't be able to show you my foot off and all that so while driving is a little bit tricky but but it is working guys trust me it is working both things uh, I'm just gonna have to fit the button now put all the car back together and that's it guys hope there's some information here you guys gonna appreciate um, hope hope you 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 enjoyed it um, hope you liked the video if you have any questions any comments you know how it works put them below and like always guys thank you so much for watching okay guys and I know a lot of you are not gonna get this far on the video I will leave in the description below or something somewhere to uh, highlight the fact that you should watch up to the end of the video so as I was driving the van uh, after I came home I put everything back together and went for another drive test for a little bit longer one uh, and what I've noticed is that uh, you've seen that I was just trying to show look at that okay so that's what is happening every now and then uh, the cruise control shuts itself off and I thought that was weird sometimes and it was very random sometimes it would run for ages sometimes it wouldn't so what I want to show you so some of you might think well this is a programming issue no it's not uh, I know already what the problem is and uh, as I was driving and try the, the, the trying the cruise control and stuff I start to realize what the problem was and uh, I'm going to show you exactly that so I'm on the engine ECU and one thing I want to show you that I've showed you at the start of the video is under reading configuration now everything is detected okay so everything is good but what I want to show you here oh sorry I'm going to show you the, the codes first because the ECU is detecting the code and that's my code okay it says memory at the time because it's a, it's a sporadic fault it comes and goes uh, but I will show you under live, live date. I already spoke with the owner. He's going to have to bring the van another time. I'm not going to record that though um, to fix this problem. Uh, so all signals. Now I'm going to try to find that somewhere. I know it was quite down below. I think it was on here. Okay, let me find it. Oh, I'm gone. Uh, cruise control settings. Damn it. Where is that? Basically, what I'm looking for is for the voltage. It's for the voltage that goes into the buttons and I want you to see there what my problem is because I've seen it already let me try to find the there is so as you can see, it's reading 4095, 4 volts as you've seen early. Now I'm going to turn my button on. I don't know if I need to turn it on, but look what happens when I turn my steering wheel. Can you see that voltage changing? But what I want you to see is... Come on, do it again. My cruise control went off again because the voltage is coming out from the let me see if I can make that to happen again ok 
Come on. Look at that. Have you seen that? Five volts? Have you seen it? Very briefly, it went to five volts or four nine 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 nine. See if I can make it to happen again. There's a position here where it would happen constantly. Let's see if I can. Look at that. We've seen it again. 499. So that's why it's happening. Is is my clock spring? Look at that. It's bad. Early I could make it to stay in there. At 49999. And if it stays there for more than a certain amount of time, it turns the the cruise control off. It went again. I was trying to see if I could make that to happen. But you can see flat weights too much. Uh, but earlier I could definitely make it to stay at 5 volts on a certain position here. Oh there we go again. See if I find that position. Anyway, guys, I can't make it to stay, but basically that's the problem, okay? So my clock spring is failing, and uh, every now and then is is making the is making the um, the cruise control to set you to shut down, and uh, and obviously this was a problem that was here before. Uh, obviously, you just couldn't see it. So sooner or later, probably the airbag light would come on as well, and 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 stuff. But for now, that's what it is. So I'm not going to record. Uh, the repair of that doesn't really matter. It is working. All I need to do now is replace that So now yes is the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day